What up guys, Just checking in. Had a pretty miserable wet day. Starting to piece together this fucking octagon. And I thought I'd share with you guys how to determine the slope cuts or the pitch cuts for a hip when you don't have 90 degree eaves. If you have 90 degree eaves, you can just use the hip valley. So I have an eight pitch. And if this were an eight pitch, the hip would be 25 degrees on the, on the plum cut. That would be 25, but because this is a 45 degree wall, we can't use the speed square. So we have to do a little math. You have your octagon, the hips come in at a 22 and a half degree angle. So if I have an eight pitch, and that's kind of drawn by this triangle right here, it's eight inches up for every 12 inches over. And I swing a 22 and a half inch arc right here. So I still have, an, I have another triangle essentially that's a 22 and a half degree angle. So I can take 22.5, put that as the pitch, do a 12 inch run and see what the diagonal would be. And it's 13. So now I know that the run of my hip on a 22 and a half is 13. It's actually 2.8. Nine, eight, but so I can calculate a new triangle. They both have the same rise. They both come eight inches up. So here's eight inches, 90 degree angle. So 13 and eight, we can do that now. We can take 13 run, eight inch rise, hit the pitch button and we get 31.61. So now I know that my slope cuts, my pitch cut on all the hip rafters that I have to do will be on a 31.6 pitch slope. And that's how you figure out hip slope when you have an, a corner that's not 90. See you.